What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 18 of the Low Bat Podcast. On this week's crew episode, we discuss our opinions on MGK's move into the world of pop punk. I defend why I believe ice cream is a superior dessert choice over cake, and we each have our hand at ranking the four seasons best to worst. If you enjoyed this episode, or if it's your first time tuning in, remember to absolutely, positively obliterate that like button and subscribe to keep up with future episodes released every Wednesday. We hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll be back next week with a super exciting special guest. Enjoy. You are now listening to the Low Bat Podcast. A weekly show highlighting members of our local creative community and featuring topical conversations with members of the Lobat production team. We're your hosts, Casey House and Fabian Castaneda. Through our own experiences as musicians, visual artists, and business owners, we saw an opportunity to provide a platform for people just like us to deep dive into what it's like to pursue a lifestyle outside of the norm. Without further ado, welcome to the Lobat Podcast. Hello, welcome to another episode of the Low Bat Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said something. Why that voice? I have no idea. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello everybody, and welcome, welcome to another episode of the Low Bat Podcast. Podcast. Welcome to the Late Jazz Low Bat Podcast. God damn, Duncan, that shit sounds dope. <laughs> you should just do this for a living. Right? I don't know if I can. Just, just make a Fiverr account right now. A Fiverr? Oh, actually... Hi, I will sell your shit for fun. <laughs> Honestly, give that me sounds money. Good. Like, <laughs> you you really could get away with that. Yeah, dog. All right, this you is gotta, my new career. Fuck you, you guys. A I'm sexy leaving. ass deep voice for real. Shit, we just saw us Duncan. Yep. <laughs> I will sell your dildos for five dollars. <laughs> uh, so so we got a we got a crew episode um, today. Gang uh, gang. And uh, we got D- Duncan returning. Is that my name? And uh, uh, you know, close enough. Dirk cool. Duncan. Uh, <laughs> and and we, we got Chris. Uh, which, funnily enough, on, yo. uh, your uh, your episode will have been released by no, it won't. Yes, it will because the no, yes, th- no, this yes, oh, yes, well, yeah, because I, I we're, guess, we're, yeah, we don't know. Hi guys, this is Chris. You've probably heard of him before. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Chris, how are you doing? The I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Crazy. The yeah. other episode that we recorded with you was like, it's been months. Yeah, I think it was like months. January. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long ass. What is time really? Time is a construct. Oh, shit. Sure, we're getting going? we're getting deep in this shit already. Hold I up, into this with nothing to talk about, so we can talk about time. All right, so but okay, before we get too far into this, all right, I want to let the listeners know and the viewers um, that I love the, you. We do love you. Thank you, for Duncan specifically. Develop a parasocial I, I don't know if relationship to, with to, me. I don't. I, I like you a lot, but I don't know about. I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that. I need a parasocial um, relationship in my life. Right now, I'm setting a goal for producer Ethan to use as many um, sound bites as he can. Off to a good start. One. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, we're about to run out. So, uh, what were (laughs) were you guys guys talking about uh, right before we started? Okay, we're talking about a lot of things. We're not allowed to talk about on podcast. Well, yeah, no, no, but but the the including genitalia. It was the the opinions of the new Machine Gun Kelly song. The new one, or the one with corpse. Well, the the new one. And also, I guess, his music overall, because it sounds like Fabian doesn't like any of his music. Okay, I mean, like, all right, so, Machine Gun Kelly doing pretty cool stuff for pop punk, even though he's not doing it well. I disagree. Oof. Because if you watch his video or, like, his his long, like, documentary, and it's not a documentary, it's like a a a movie. movie. It's like a movie with all his songs, like his entire album. There is an it, right? And no one can say what it is. But you know when someone has it, right? And he has it. It's called Hot But Broken. Oh, oh, that's, that's the look. All right, so all I have to do is get hot. No, all right, step <laughs> broken. <laughs> broken? All right. Have well. you seen the, the pictures that you, you made? You got that, you got that jawline, you got the oh, eyes. Oh, shit. All right, well, does anyone out. have cocaine? <laughs> You find us how you just two put together. <laughs> there we go. Break yourself a little bit. Get get you know. Be sad, but like be real sad. Be real sad. Yeah. Be real sad, and then all right. Then write about it. So I uh, I will pick up Tinder right after this, um, and just swipe right on. Is it right or left? I, I believe it's right. Yeah. You right on right. everything. On and everyone. then just get your heart broken. Yep. Oh yeah. No. Make I mean, sure. And then do that. crack. Tinder's a really good place to remind you that you're not that good looking <laughs> look look when you get a girl just make sure that she's not completely over her ex-boyfriend 
It's yes. guaranteed oh, heartbreak. There you go. True. All right, so I'm going to put that in like my profile. He's like, you must have feelings for someone else. It's very important. <laughs> still be in love. Yeah, still be in love with someone. Let, let me be I, your I want, rebound. I, really, I just want to complicate things. That's my entire role is to complicate your life. I enjoy puzzles. Let me ruin your life. If I mean, it's a one-piece puzzle, it is not fun. That, let me ruin your life is a very common like uh, uh, Tinder thing or it's whatever. Like a header. Yeah, so yeah. Like, let me ruin your life, and it usually and has some people like, are like, "All right, cool." Yeah. <laughs> yes, sure, yeah, why straight not? up. I need some dysfunction. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't stop me from swiping, right? I'm just like, "Yep, that's fine." It's like I've been home in COVID for like months. Like, fuck, just give me some action, like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy, folks. Yep. But so, so I know, um, and 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 I'm gonna ask for Ethan to to speak up for a little bit of his uh, in defense of Machine Gun Kelly. Um, I feel pretty indifferent about about uh, his. There he is. Oh, look at him! I feel pretty indifferent wow. about his uh, the pop punk stuff. I think it's really cool that a, a name like that is doing music like that. Um, that excites me, but I don't think the music is that phenomenal. But Ethan disagrees. I know he really likes it. I mean, he's doing a good job of of kind of crossing over pop into the more pop of pop punk because like it, he provides elements that are like more on like top 40 stuff where it like talks about like not what it talks about but it sounds like it has got like 808s in the back and and like very simple but catchy hooks and stuff like that but like he got bigger oh, shit. that's what she said <laughs> oof I don't know it's just it's not nothing it's a magic trick nothing stands out his voice is very uh, monotone I do not like his voice uh, it's, it's, it's gotta it's, sound like that his voice is fine it does the, it, it does the thing it gets from A to B but I'm just like, there he, it is. You know? He is a 95 Toyota Camry of pop punk. Yeah. <laughs> that was how, how, much, how much do you think? Exactly. And, and it's funny because uh, Ethan has had the mic in his hand for a while, but I'm going to keep talking. Uh, how much of it do you think? <laughs> uh, Fuck you. Is, is, how, how much of it do you think uh, you can attribute to tra- Travis Barker? Three. I'd, give, I'd, give a percentage. Not much. Really? He could have not have produced with Travis Barker and still would have been popular because it's MGK. Did Travis Barker produce it? Yes. Well, so but you don't think that he had that much of a say in the the writing? No, he can. MGK is rich. He can hire anyone. He can hire like songwriters that well, no one knows about. But that doesn't mean he didn't have a hand no one, in it, huh? That doesn't mean Travis Barker didn't have a hand in it. I really think that MGK can. He can release a country album, and it would be the number one shit on the all internet. of the, that. That's besides the point. I'm not saying the the, the fame of the or, or the, the how big the songs were. I'm saying how they turned out. Do you think that they were in the studio together and Travis was like writing and having a part in formulating the songs? That's what a producer does. Okay. How much would you say? What do you mean? Like how much influence did he have in the song in total? Yeah. I mean, probably a lot because those producers do. I, it, never at, mind. at that level, producers uh, do everything. You think go ahead to run through them. I don't, I, I had a point. I don't even know what it is anymore. <laughs> I've lost it. I just I don't know. At at that level, an artist can't be like, "Hey, I have a song," and it's okay. Recorded as is, it goes through so many people. Mostly producer. Hi. Hi, Ethan. Hello. Ethan. Hello. Hello, God. <laughs> it's been a while since anyone's called me that. You're welcome. Uh, MGK, I think his album is phenomenal. Um, say it with your chest. All of you already know this. Before you guys started talking about Travis Barker's writing percentage. Um, you guys, you guys were describing MGK's music. I think someone called it like the 95 Camry of pop punk. Um, the reason I think it's a great album is because I feel like everything that you guys just described with like the exclusion of 808s is what people would have said about Blink-182 way back when. At least Blink-182 had more energy. I think that his album has plenty of energy. I feel like it's just not as exciting as it could be, especially what, especially what pop punk has like evolved into. Yeah. Pop punk has evolved into a bunch of sad people. Like I want sad shit, bro. Crying together. Honestly, I feel like that's like music now. Anyway, because it's like, real. Because everyone's depressed. Yeah. Shout out to uh, the depressed people. Shout out Emo Finn Wave Two Point uh, He runs a, a YouTube channel called The Punk Rock NBA, and he made a video about how like rock music is dying because they all take themselves too seriously, and no one's allowed to have fun or make jokes anymore. And I think that uh, MGK does like a good job breaking that mold, and I think that's why it works and why I'm such a big fan of it. Hmm. And uh, he also, you can tell he did something right because I remember going on Facebook that day and that was the first time in forever that anybody had just talked about an album. I saw so many people that were like, yo, that new MGK though. And that's like a thing that I just have almost never seen happen. 
I feel like he just like I think you're right. He like tried to bring back like the old pop punk sound that everyone was just like everyone was trying to do something new and no one was like, nah, I just want to sound like Blink. And like people like Blink, like there's a reason they blew up. So, but that, he's like simultaneous though he like remix strategy did it though because yeah. he, he has like the whole rap background. So like he has like Trippy Red on the album and stuff like that, and you know like the 808s and like the yeah, like, it's a cool cool lab. I can so. say that. It's just I don't know. I feel like the only reason it's as popular is because he lost to Eminem and he got kicked out of that genre. I <laughs> think uh, <laughs> tickets to my downfall. I think it was my number two album last year. Shit. Do you do you think that it being MGK and Travis Barker factors into it? Like, if you heard that album and it was two people you'd never heard of? No, not at all. Okay. Um, I think I'm musically explorative enough that I would fuck with it if I found it on my own accord. That's fair. Like, without it being, you know, like a prominent. I can attest album. to that. I also, like, I don't give a shit that Travis Barker's on the album. Oof. I, like, it's cool. It's cool that he wrote all the drums and stuff, and I'm sure he contributed a lot. Um, he's, like, an executive producer, I think, on it, too. So he also, like, threw some money in there. But, from I, like, it doesn't it doesn't actually make, a, like, a tangible difference to me. Like, I didn't see, like, Travis Barker, and I was like, oh. It was just like, oh, Travis was in this. That's kind of cool. It's because he's in everything now. It's yeah, been a while since I... He's been putting I, a lot of artists on. And it's funny because, like, every time he even does, like, something, like, remotely for, like, a song, it's, like, featuring Travis just Barker. Just don't forget the point. Yep. No, it's, it's fine, guys. I don't need to talk. No, it's okay. All right, is it my turn? All right, cool. Your turn, Dunk. I, <laughs> I know, I know. You like kind of agree with me on this. Yeah. Well, it's like the if from what I remember correctly, like the drums weren't that insane. It was like stereotypical pop punk drums. Like it didn't have to song. be. Yeah, it didn't have to be Travis Barker. Honestly, if you told me that it was someone else, I, I just want to be surprised. It's just he's a good drummer and he's a good producer. So I think I think his main job was to make sure he's a good song came out. And then he just also say, oh, I can also play drums on it. That is a thing he yeah. does. Because he's, 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 been been pro- he's been producing a lot of more, more artists than just MGK recently. And then he shows up in the videos and there's like, it's just trap drums. But he's playing a real kit, even though there's no real drums in the song. And th- that stuff has been weird. But this, I feel like, was like, uh, oh, I see it too. Uh, <laughs> it made me really happy because like you watch, you watch the videos. Um, and my eyes aren't gonna t- I'm gonna keep talking but I'm gonna keep watching um, <laughs> if you watch the videos like he's so perfectly on t- oh my god <laughs> oh my god rip that bug he's so perfect <laughs> on time with the uh, w- with the with the fills and everything and they're usually pretty complicated fills so um, the only thing I didn't like as far as the videos go was um, there's one song where he's playing a, a marching snare and that that's too. not that's not what's being played. I get yeah. it. I get it. I get the point. But I was just like, he's flexing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I uh, I remember what you're talking about. It's the one where they're like playing against like the side of an ambulance or yeah. something like that. Like it's just it would have been just as easy for for them to put together a very simple drum set next. To, like like it's cool they're standing together and it's a different like vibe. But I was just like, this is. I can't help but be like, you're not playing the right part, and that bothers me. <laughs> but it was still you know the video itself or videos or however you want to put it. The film, the film, it, it was very impressive. I, I, the acting was s- subpar in a lot of cases and everything, but what they tried to put together, I think they executed it really well. Yeah, I was about to say the execution was fucking dope, and I don't even like MGK, so. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't, not a big fan of that album. Um, I'm not a big fan of him, like at all, as an artist. Ooh, like I mean, take. not, I mean, not beef. like, not like, nah, not aggressively. He's just like not my cup of tea. But we gonna get um, him on the podcast and you sit next to him and. Y'all fight? I mean, I mean, I don't want to fight. It's just I don't like your music, dog. <laughs> <laughs> is that is is really just that? But I did check out his like album movie thing, and I thought like from a cinematography standpoint, I was like, yo, this is pretty fucking dope. How they yeah. like Fabian, give me like a half scooch forward. How like every scene was just like kind of thought out to be like its own music video, and how it like flowed and stuff. So that was pretty dope. But like the actual music, I'm not really, I'm not a fan of. The only other person that I've seen do that with. I'm sure that there's plenty, but um, I remember whenever Kanye did it, I think he did it for uh, Dark Twisted Fantasy. He did like a two hour movie that was mm-hmm. for his songs. I haven't watched it in a very long time, so I don't even really remember um, most of it, but I remember at the time being very impressed by that. I thought that was really cool. When did this uh, film come out? It's been months. Uh, cool. Do you think that it wouldn't have been as effective having a whole, if it was like an hour long ish? I think it's like 45 minutes-ish. 40, well, you're, you're saying if it was a little bit longer, would it have been worse? If there wasn't a pandemic, would it be as attractive? I think it would have. Um, I think 
people regardless have time to watch a 45 people have time to watch uh, tv is 45 minutes nowadays it's longer than that in a lot of cases people have time and 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 it worked fine for kanye so yeah, it, was, it was also like a weird release cycle too because it, it like the film didn't come out with the album the album was like multiple months past ah. i'm pretty sure and then the the film came out that's interesting i haven't watched the film i've only watched a handful of music videos wow yeah that's a that was I, my. I don't make time for MGK. That was my first experience. E- Ethan, e- yeah. living with him, he was he was very much like, "Hey, you, watch, we got to watch this." And so, actually, you know what? No, I was I was I was with you whenever we watched it for the first time, and uh, we sat down and we watched it partially out of order, and then we figured out because uh, uh, do, do you remember this, Ethan? Yeah, yeah we, vi- we we put on one, and then it, and it was like somewhere in the middle. And we were like, "Whoa, this is really cool." And we were like, "Oh, there's another one." We were like, "Oh, these are like tied together." Uh, but it was like different timelines because it was like the first or it was like the second and the fourth or something. And then I think we started the third one and then we realized, oh, wait, there is an order. To this. There's an order to this. And then we went back and we watched it in order. And now I think that they there's a playlist or it's released as one whole package. Or yeah, something. You, you can uh, you can watch the whole thing as, as one like cohesive. Has anyone watched yeah. the uh, the weekends uh, series of videos from his latest album? I have not. I have not. Same nope. same thing where all the videos are connected chronologically. I've oh. seen select videos, but not all of them. I hope we start to see like more of a trend of that. Like I'm really a big fan of like I love concepts. Yeah, exactly. Like visualizing your whole album and like mixing the two medias together. Definitely. It's difficult to 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 say the least. That's I feel like to execute it well, unfortunately money is a big part in it, or at bare minimum minimum time. Um and it's like 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 MGK's especially again, watching it with Ethan, somebody who has the eye for knowing what is what he was able to point out certain things that just look like a regular light. And it's like, that's a $25,000 bulb right there. Like stupid stuff like that. Yep. And you just realize there's a reason why this looks so good. You can, you can create very similar things with a cell phone and, and, and whatever, but it's like, there's money. There's definitely money poured into it. So I think if you have the opportunity, it's fucking sick, but it's definitely difficult to do. We also have to like, in the inception of like an, an idea, you have to be like, we're gonna make this a, a whole a th- whole thing. Do you think that that was like like for MGK specifically? Do you think that that was conceptualized before the album was finished? Probably, probably. Yeah. It's it's hard to like go back and make it all make sense. Yeah. Well, I, I don't do the lyrics tell this story. Then what are the lyrics? I don't think that they do. It's very high school esque. It's like uh, the whole album. I'm, I'm think the, the album is conceptual. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, exactly. It started from huh. the beginning. Like loosely, I think the songs all kind of exist on their own, but they're also like loosely themed to to be what they are. Like, uh, like I think about uh, like Mike Hem. They always do conceptual albums, but their first two were very loosely conceptual, and then the third one had much more of a tight concept, and the fourth one was in a whole new universe. So it's very conceptual, but even then, like I feel like his songs were more person. Like the songs, the lyrics were personal, but it had a vibe of like teenage angst. That's also just kind of pop punk. And then he was able to form this whole. Th- I I I lean on the other side. I do not think that he had this planned while writing the album. Maybe before it was finished, it was like, oh, it'd be really cool to do this and actually make sense or whatever. But I think when writing the album and recording it. I doubt that he had the the idea to build a whole story like that. Did it just feel disconnected for you? Like the music, like the the emotion didn't match what you were watching? I think that the emotion does, and I think that's why it makes sense. But I don't, he's the songs aren't about the story of the videos. It's not about a dude going through that. That I mean, I, I don't want to spoil it, but I guess it doesn't. Also, doesn't matter because it's a music it. video. Yeah, a, a, a guy basically losing his girlfriend and and losing his mind in the process and going through all these like high stress emotions and everything. Like, sure, the concept of being in school and revenge and 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 acting out and all these things like th- those are themes. But I don't think that that story was told in the lyrics. I think the story was told on screen with a with a dude singing lyrics that give you the same vibe it's it's like like a like a score to a movie it's it it has to match the vibe you're not gonna play super exciting music whenever somebody is like sadly dying or something now i I will ask this and either you know you or ethan can uh probably answer this excuse me but um well would you say i'm assuming that uh most of you like listen to his whole album and stuff um would you say that possibly the songs were metaphorical to the scenes that were being shown. I think there might've been ties at times, but I don't think that I think 
most of it wasn't. I yeah. think the album is very well written, and I think that it definitely is uh, like a. I don't even want to say metaphorical because I feel like it's not the right word, but I definitely feel that MGK in that album is like contrasting his current self with his former self. And I think that the the videos tie in perfectly to that. Okay. Obviously, it's like a it's like a narrative driven film. Yeah. Um. So it's oh, like pulling up lyrics. I mean this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, like, it's, a very, like, it's a very like um, narrative driven film. So like, obviously, some of it is like interpretive, but I do think that it is uh, absolutely like a. There's uh there's connections between MGK and the the character in the film, which I almost feel like you actually kind of see if you watch it. Yeah, and I do want to preface it with the the fact that I do not know all the lyrics. Like I haven't like read them and studied them or anything. This is just going off of I've watched through the videos like three or four times, and yeah. just kind of like what I took away from it. Regardless, it's still very it's all very impressive. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's the same exact thing with uh, I talked about Mike Hammond and uh, with their concepts. All the songs aren't necessarily telling like an A to B story that they then show on screen, but it's like, here's the world that we're building and here's the story we're telling it through video form. As long as they're matching to an extent. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but also like, you just look at the lyrics though. It's like very, very generic, like edgy stuff. So it's not too hard to like. Yeah. There, there's another bug I got to check. <laughs> <laughs> More bugs. Oh, no, it's not hard to conceptualize something that is very relatable and that can sense as well. Yeah, I feel that. So maybe Casey was right. Maybe he just wrote generic theme and was like, this is now a high school music thing. Yeah. I mean, that happens. Sometimes, sometimes, uh, like this happened with a band called Dayseeker where they wrote... Dayseeker's cool. Yeah. Uh, I forgot which album it was. It's the Dreaming Sinking album. Um, but like he had a couple songs, like three songs that had the same story. And then he ended up accidentally writing like six of them. So he's like, well, why don't I just make the other handful of songs and make it a concept album? So I guess you can like start not intending it to be that way and then realize it develops that way. Mm-hmm. There's a soundbite that I want to pick from what just happened. Uh, Duncan said uh, uh, Casey was right. You want to say that one more time nice and clearly? Casey was right. Awesome. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, pull that. Oh, I found the bug. You can wake up to that every day. Why do we have bug? Like what's happening? What's, what's with all, these? They all are being infested. Yeah, uh, it's because we have. We have to move out now. Everybody came inside and let bugs in. I'm sorry. Everybody Everyone coming came in, inside. Everybody coming to my house and let bugs in. We'll set up a uh, what are the like a quarantine area for bugs. We just need like a like a bug stripper, whatever. The no, that's too much work. Let's stripper? set up a quarantine area. <laughs> <laughs> nope, a, 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 bu- I, a bug strip or is what I said. I just said it all as one. <laughs> that's a, you get, they they strip. They making that dough? <laughs> how much do they pay? Mo- 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 moving on from this, uh, hey, hey uh, Ethan, what's this right here? The Pale of Ponder. Whoa. Five. Oh, four. Okay. Well, well, damn. Four. Was that, does that count as four? Does that count as like I, eight? I, I think that was I three. really wish I said tallyho.app. I think uh, <laughs> I think I think the count should be at five. I think yeah, I because, yeah, 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 yeah. because it's it's uh, pale yeah. ponder and then horns. So yes, um, I like it. So who's doing it? Chris is the only one here who does not know what it is. Don't, uh, don't, 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 let's let's give it a quick intro. Nah, just do it. Just do it. I don't give a fuck. Put your hand in there. Grab Pull one, one only piece one. of paper and tell me what it says on it. You must read it out loud. Oh wait, I oh. think that was two. Right. Some of them are long, but like that's fine. If oh, it's bad, okay. I'm gonna hate you. I can't tell for at least five minutes. Just Somebody cut these really <laughs> shittily. Okay, I guess this is one. <laughs> is it Oof. Oof. Lizzie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <All> right. <laughs> okay, I couldn't tell. Shit. All right. Do I say? Just read, it yeah, just read it. Read it. Yep. We don't okay. know what it is. Ice cream or cake? Not ice cream cake. <sighs> I wrote that very specifically. <laughs> Because ice cream cake is great. Yeah. Ice cream but or cake. Why do you do this to me? Yeah. <laughs> um, Man, you know, I wasn't going to be hungry after this episode, but I probably will now because of this. Cake. This the easiest thing in the world. Cake. Cake. I'm going to respectfully bow out of this question. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm going to say ice cream. There's so, many, there's so many good and bad of each. That's all I got to say. I, w- I will say ice cream is more situational than cake. Cake is more versatile. You I'm going to say, so I'm going to, I, I don't eat much, many sweets. I'm going to say ice cream just because usually 
when I get ice cream is because I want ice cream. Sometimes I eat cakes because I have to eat cake. Oh, yeah. So you're saying you pick ice cream? Yes. Is lasagna a cake? A pasta cake. If we're going to go into this, I'm a food descriptivist, so you can say anything is anything, and it is therefore Correct. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, but before before we get to, I just want to know everyone's reasoning before we start going on to these uh, tangents. Uh, who do you want to hear first? Uh, yeah, uh, who, let's, who go first? With, uh, let's go with the cake eaters. Ooh. Uh, for, for, for me, it's a pretty simple, uh, answer of, of ice cream is cold and it's too cold. I have Sometimes sensitive ass teeth. teeth. Okay. Oh. Un- understood. So I mean, that's a big issue. For that's me. why you lick your ice cream. No. You straight up bite it. <laughs> uh, you take a scoop or a, a spoonful of ice cream. Mm-hmm. You now have a spoon with ice cream on it. Mm-hmm. You don't have a cone, bro. Everybody doesn't true. have access to cones at all times. <laughs> Access to cones. Anyways, you put it ice cream. Casey, now. you I, have I, a car. You have access to cones at all times. All right, I'm done target. <laughs> Duncan, go ahead. I had a whole thing. Go, I, I just, I just feel like there's more options. Like ice cream is just like ice cream, and you get flavors. But like cake, you can, you can. There's like more stuff. That is the wrongest thing I ever heard in my life, bro. You right. can put toppings on ice cream. Well, no, that was not the question though. It was ice cream. Or cake. So are we just now? We're just talking about <laughs> this cake, like the like the actual cake part. No frosting, no nothing. All right, yeah, I'm jumping just... in. I'm jumping in. <laughs> Duncan, what you just said was the most incorrect statement I've ever heard in my life. All right, no, it's fine. I'll be wrong. There are so many more flavors of ice cream than there are cake. But that's the thing. It's like ice cream is just ice cream. Like you can get more textures with a cake than you can with ice cream. No, I feel like cake's a pretty distinct texture. I disagree. It's like sweet bread. I feel like you can get like rice cakes, you can get like bread cake, you can get so much more stuff. Like bread the Dutch cake? literally exist for this reason. Wait, Whoa. wait, what's, what's bread cake? I never heard of bread cake. It's like Regular it's cake. like the normal cake. Yeah, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, all right, that's bread. It's like my yeast is that's rising bread. It's just bread. Sweet bread. Are we oh, considering shit. rice cakes? Never mind. Look, I, I don't want to get into that. I was, I was that. just going to move past that. I don't <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't even want to get into that. It's called rice cake. It's called cake. Not sure if it's cake. Because I mean, I've had potato cakes before. Is that cake? <laughs> like you mean potato pancakes? Are pancakes yeah, cakes? Kinda. No, or like, they're not. Like uh, <laughs> at, my, at my first job, they were like kind of like like balls, but like oval, like a ball, and then go squish just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I I do think that I would I would love ice cream if it just wasn't for the temperature issue. It just it does it does hurt. I'm so not even gonna lie. I like my ice cream semi melted. Gang, gang. It's still cold. But it's not as cold. So it's like flavored liquid? No, like it's still ice cream, but like it's, I don't know. It's like not like solid, hard. Yeah, it has some give and you can like a little softer. mix it around with your toppings. and so stuff. I definitely get more excited. If somebody softer. said, do you want a slice of cake or do you want a scoop of ice cream? I would get more excited if somebody said a slice of cake. It depends on the cake. But generally speaking, I would be like, fuck yeah, I want a piece of cake. I think I think I don't fuck with cake because like it can be too sweet at times, and then it's like I've never had bad ice cream, but I've had bad cake. I've had, oh, I've had shitty cake. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've had bad ice cream too. Really? Yeah. Okay, so bad ice cream that was supposed to be good, or like I mean, mainly it's, I guess it's a flavor thing. See, there's a difference. I've had cake that was supposed to be good, like a flavor that I normally like, and it was shitty. I've never had like a bad ice cream experience that was like the taste I expected. No, I have. I've had I've I've had uh, less um, like le- not impressive. That's not the right word, but just like like vanilla. I've had v- remarkable vanilla, and I've had like you know, it's, there's some vanilla flavor in there, I guess. Oh, can I do a pic- uh, quick PSA real quick? Sure. Um, if you put fondant on your cake, you are the devil. What's fondant? What is it? Oh, the fake. Uh, yes. Yeah. That plastic shit. That you put on your cake, I hate it so much. I usually do it regardless. I usually just is I, that the I chocolate like it. that hardens on top? Is that, no, okay. It's just like it's like taffy, but it's not taffy. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's it's, it's just it's shit. what people just use to make like decorative cakes and stuff, like oh. on Cake Boss and stuff. We got them rich people shit. Yeah, I hate that so much. I'm I I don't eat it if it's up there. Like I hate it so much. It's not icing at all. Is is a cake icing? Is it, the it, shit. Would you rather have a slice of cake yeah, or, or or a or a cupcake? Fondant icing. There we go. Also commonly referred to as, or simply as fondant, and then what the fuck is that thing? Uh, <laughs> oh, from the fr- oh, all right. Somebody else read this. Is an <laughs> icing used to decorate or sculpt 
Oh, I can't see you in the way. C- cake and pastries. It is made Popcorn. from sugar, water, gelatin, uh, vegetable fat, or shortening. And glycerol. That's glycerol, right? Keep You're supposed to say what? popcorn. I've never Why am I popcorn? supposed to? Uh, uh, Duncan. Ah! <laughs> Were you not what? following along, Duncan? I'm scared. I don't know how to read. <laughs> it does. It does not have the texture <laughs> of most easings. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa. <laughs> Are we learning something about ducking today? No. Um, Roll oh fondant. Why, why is it called fondant? I need. I need someone because it's from the French. Yo, they listen. use the word akin in this. We we gotta use it's a akin. different fucking. Definition. There we go. Wikipedia. Highlighter right there. Akin to stiff clay. You want stiff clay on your dessert? Ice cream, please. Yeah. There <laughs> I've never had clay there before. I've never eaten it, so technically I wouldn't know. There's a lot of really awful uh, ice cream toppings too. I mean, any ice cream topping can also be a cake topping. In a way, yeah. That is true. That is true. I'm just saying, like, you just throw Oreos and vanilla ice cream, and boom. You just throw Oreos in cake. True. Oreo cake. You want a whole <laughs> Oreo in your cake? Well, yeah. Do you want a whole Oreo in your ice cream? No. Yeah, because you, you can actually. You can. You can actually. So use why wasn't it? <laughs> you can use that the Oreo. It was up in the cake. <laughs> you can why, use the Oreo to scoop the cake. Uh, to uh, scoop the ice cream. You can't do the scoop of cake. That is true. Yeah, you can. That's well, Yeah, because true. we have tools for that, like a fucking <laughs> fork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using an Oreo to scoop my cake or my ice cream. I have a fork. Um, I'm going to come up with an unpopular opinion. I no. Think the reason that I always vote ice cream over cake is because like, I'm not big on icing. <clears throat> so like, I hate cake icing. Especially, there's so, it, like, dude, the cupcake world is fucked up. There's so much icing on <laughs> so many cupcakes. It's like three inches of icing. It, it's like the ratio is like one to one. Yeah, yeah. It, and like it depends, I, it but like I'm, I'm, I don't know. A good I also is. like I prefer the bottom of the muffin, so like I should probably just shut up. Yeah, it, 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 it also depends up. on the <laughs> type of icing. I, I'm, I'm not familiar with the different names of them. I know there's like whipped, and then there's like uh, what, what yep. cheese, what cheesecake is made Fondant. out of? Uh, <laughs> what cheesecake is made out of? Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Thank you. Uh, there's cream cheese frosting, and like there's a bunch of different kinds. Uh, like like I think buttercream. whipped. Buttercream. I, I think yeah. whipped That's is the, the one. Shit. Yeah. I think whipped is the one that I like. If you uh, because if, it's not so fucking oh, thick. Ice oh, icing hell yeah. cake. Royal icing. What is Lizzie? Is this you? Yo, fucking come let, back. Let yeah, it be known. She she had about twelve minutes of of training for this job, and she's yeah. killing it. right are, now. Are you on like energy drinks? You're like you're on it. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. That uh, cream cheese frosting please. fucking slaps. Our don't know. Cakes. Don't know. Fucking, we already talked about that. What the fuck? Swiss, Swiss meringue? Mer- meringue buttercream? Meringue. <laughs> look, marzipan? Look, no, no, no. We're, isn't we're that, going, isn't hold that the on, name hang on. of, a, of, of a PewDiePie's? Hang on. We're going back to that Swiss Girl. meringue buttercream cupcake. Look at the icing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you bite into it. Half well, your face I, is going to be icing. I, I, no, you, I you with, with that one, you just eat the ice, icing first. Just a whole mouthful. I think, of ice. I think, I, I think it's too much icing because you notice it's also not on the fucking sides. They went instead of going around. Like, what are they doing? Whose nose is whistling? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. It might have been me. I've been having like what's congestion that, problems. What's that second to the right? Pastelage? It looks cool. It looks cool. It does. Why does that sound like blasphemy? Like, I'm gonna commit plastilage, <laughs> like gum paste. Ew, like glaze on a on a on a cupcake. Are they considering a donut? A it's cupcake? it's a look look. <laughs> Google said so. So donuts are included in cakes. Fuck all of you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, cake donuts are a thing. Yeah, yeah, yep. go to duck donuts, bro. So boom, different textures. Yo, duck donuts, different slaps. delivery. Duck donuts does slap. Yo, and all I'm saying is, whenever we went to the yard, Ethan got uh, a, a a milkshake that had cheesecake on it. So. Okay, okay, real quick. All right, right so the milkshakes so, brought him to the yard. Yes, that's... that's, that's <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, is that, the, is that the thing? That's the whole point. You didn't realize that? Oh, my God. <laughs> also... We had, a, we had a whole conversation about they need to play that song at the top of the hour every hour. No, no, okay, I did know. I did. I, I, did, I was there. Yeah, and I, I remember. I, cheesecake... I've forgotten until right now. Cheesecake is like a whole different thing. I don't consider that like a regular, a traditional... When people say cake, I don't, I don't think of cheesecake. That's like saying really? frozen yogurt and ice cream are two different things. They're the same fucking thing. How do you define a cake? Is a burrito a cake? No, no, no. We're, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. <laughs> As God, we're not doing this. <laughs> wow, this this debate has gotten surprisingly heated. I'm about to be eating a banana and be like, yo, this cake slaps. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to prove me wrong. We need a burger. 
This cake's last, bro. It's a meat cake. <laughs> yes. Those exist. <laughs> yeah, it's called meatloaf. Yeah. Yep. Meatloaf is a meat cake. So my mom makes no, those in like bread. My mom makes those in like little football shapes, and that's the way that she made it. Like the entire time I was growing up. So when my brother got out of and like experienced the world, he would order meatloaf and it would come in like the normal shape, like Square. boxy. And he'd be yeah. like, the fuck is this shit? He's like, what the, f- this isn't meatloaf? <laughs> like, what is this shit? Chef! 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 All right. I got dinged. It scared me. Um, And it, it, like he came back because he was in the Navy at the time. He came back and he's like, mom, what the fuck? Why'd you do this to me? You set me up for failure. <laughs> I didn't hear the first half of the story, so I'm lost. What? I was looking right at you, too. You were looking right at me. <laughs> yeah, like, you were looking, I was reading into the context clues to try to put it together, and I never could. <laughs> I never no, put it you together. You were looking me dead in the eye. I was really listening. <laughs> I wasn't, and then I really was. Yo, how come like ketchup is an acceptable topping on meatloaf? Because isn't meatloaf kind of just like, meat. it's like burger meat? Yeah, but like, like you put like some stuff in it, like to, like was it like some like sort of breading type stuff? To it's like, like Rice Krispies. Give it texture and then like onion. Depending, I'm honestly I, I don't, I couldn't tell you what a meatloaf is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm realizing it's, it's this been right a now. Since I've had, a I've avoided them my whole life. I always thought they were gross. I but I it's been so long I don't remember why. That's how I feel about like giant meatballs. Like, like I'll like I'll look at shit on like like facebook and stuff and it's just like oh look at this 30 pound burger and i'm like yeah that shit looks gross like yeah too much of uh, hello cholesterol gross. <laughs> yeah salt. Fucking... i'm gonna I, i'm gonna do something no i've never pulled from this oh before we pull from it casey uh chris feel free to ball up that question and try to throw it at the center camera we gotta eventually we're gonna come up with something some way for it to be tracked because like i want to have like a hoop or like a, a thing and have a camera. I don't know. I'm. Fig- I don't know yet. I don't know how we would possibly guys, do that. You guys ready? But see if you can hit the camera. Center camera. <laughs> Kobe. Ah, oh, so I think close. you skimmed close. it. Close. I was. I was. Super I think you're just short. You can't say that. Hey, I'm short. I allowed to say that. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the pale of ponder. Round Part two. two. Oh wow! Look at this long piece of paper for six. <laughs> Hell yeah. Rank. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> yep. It is notated. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Rank. <laughs> Rank the four seasons. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Winter last. Fall number one. Spring number two. Winter number three, summer four. Here's here's the issue. Virginia has like twelve seasons. Yeah. I agree completely. Really? I. So you said fall, you said spring, winter, winter, summer, winter, summer. Winter, summer. Yeah, summer's the worst. Too damn hot. <laughs> <laughs> I only say summer lasts because, like, in the winter, like you're cold as fuck, but you can put stuff on to make yourself warm, but you can't like put anything on to make yourself cold, and that's why I hate summer. You oh, that was really close. Almost like <clears throat> nailed that. that. That would like tip the camera. Yeah. Oh, I have a rubber band here. I could have used that. Oh. Could have done the like the Next hornet time. thing. But yeah. Um. Uh. uh go ahead. Oh, wait, so y'all are completely in agreement. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um. D- do you know yours, Duncan? Or you still got thing? I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> That's why we gotta like we we gotta say our answers without giving explanations. All right. So yeah. s- for me, it's summer, fall, spring, winter. Okay. Duncan. Uh, fall, spring, winter, summer. I think so. It was is that the same that you yeah, guys? Yeah, okay. y'all all agree. I'm the complete. Yeah. Fall, opposite. fall for from and this is in Virginia or Virginia Beach or whatever. What I'm wearing is what I want to wear year round, and what I'm wearing is what I wear in fall. At the most, I might get one more layer on. Sometimes you have a nice warm day, and you you actually can like take the flannel off. But I want the option. Spring gets a little warm and there's so much pollen on the fucking cars every day. And I, I don't even have allergies. I couldn't imagine for people who deal with allergies. And then summer is just miserably hot. I would rather be cold in the winter than be I step outside and I get smacked with like wet, hot air. Oh, God. Especially like after it rains. Ugh. 
The humid. Yeah, it's so humid in Virginia Beach. So there is all the Virginia seasons. There we go. All oh, see, there's there's fourteen. Blessed be the actual spring. <laughs> all three days. <laughs> all three days. And there's an actual fall. Actual three fall. Days. <laughs> right. <laughs> so let me just go over my reasoning real quick, and then we can then we can go over the Virginia seasons because this is a very important screen we have right here. I like doing shit outdoors. I like going to baseball games when that's, that al- that's allowed and things like that. Um, that's something that happens in the summer. Uh, fall is a more comfortable summer for me. Spring has pollen and bugs. Winter's cold. Can't can't go see a baseball game in the cold. I feel that. Yeah, seasons, especially in Virginia Beach, are, suck because like, we have 80-degree weather in the winter, and we have snow in the summer. Everything happens year round. It really doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, I mean, lately, it, lately it's been so nice out. It's been a little warm on certain days, but it's been it's been pretty damn nice. I think we're on um, actual spring right now. I would say because we've, yeah. we've had we've had third winter because we had a, a fake spring uh, in March. Yeah, it was like I two weeks of just like beautiful weather, and then it got dumb cold again. Yeah, like psych. So I think we're in actual spring. It's lasted long in three days. We might be a, a little different. It's just like I get every single day that I get in my car, I have to clean my 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 windshield. Yeah, because of the pollen. It's like that's yeah, just, it's, it's kind of. Sick. I f- I feel like this lit list is like but, but like if you have allergies, it's like it completely changes. So this this list is for those that are listening on the podcast form. Uh, Virginia season starting in I guess January is winter, spring, second winter, second spring, third winter. Actual spring, which lasts three days. Uh, drought. Summer in hell. <laughs> we're, we're air the drought. Uh, summer in hell. Fall teas. Second drought. Second summer. Winter. <laughs> actual fall also lasts three days. And then winter to end the year. That's yeah. 100% accurate. That is 100% accurate. Yeah, you never it really stinks. know. Yeah. I hate. I honestly, I've I've noted many times that Virginia Beach doesn't have an actual fall because it just is like it's it was hot for a while, then it got randomly cold, and then it just stayed cold. Yeah, it usually it goes from hot to like cold to hot and then fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's and then no- it's just like I guess we're gonna be pretty cold for a while. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like like living in Virginia Beach, which I'm sure anybody living anywhere else will be able to complain equally. This is just our experience, but like. It sucks living somewhere that goes, has in my lifetime gone below zero, I think only once, but usually it, it, the lowest it, a- it gets on average is like low 20s or a little bit below 20. So it gets fucking cold, but it also gets above 100 almost every year yeah, for at least for at least a couple of days. So we get pretty extreme heat and pretty extreme cold. We don't like like you can go to like Texas and like the coldest it fucking gets is 50 degrees. But it gets like a hundred and four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, okay. So honestly, it, we're in a temperate zone, which means that our maxes and mins are not as bad as, say, Iowa, Alaska. Well, no, I'm saying that Iowa, their lows can be like in like the negatives, Fuck. like on average in the negatives, and their hots can be in the one hundreds to maybe one teen. So they have it even worse. I definitely am not saying Virginia is the worst or Virginia Beach is the but worst. But could you imagine that though? They're like just you're complaining about places. you're complaining about that here where it can be like t- like twelve like fifteen degrees as our low for the year. And, and that's then, why I just and it'd be one oh five for the high for the year. I'm good. I was yeah, over there. Pretty much like that whole like middle America is just it's just it's just that. Yeah. Since it's so fucking flat, there's no elevation anywhere. Like Yeah. Like we cl- we live close to the water that allows us to happen. Yeah. Can, uh, can I can I jump in and give you guys my four seasons because no. I think I'm different. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, uh, you think we got? Yeah, uh, for I'm me, different. it's summer, spring, fall, winter. So you're mine, except for you. He hates the cold. Sw- you swap uh, fall and spring. All right, did you list summer first? Also, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, winter sucks. Too cold. I, I, you I wear shorts cold. all year long, so that, like that's not good for you. I'm on team shorts. <laughs> um. I don't know. I, I like hot weather, so I'm genuinely curious as to why we differ in spring and fall as two and three. Uh, I think for me it's spring because it feels good to come out of the winter for me. Like it's like cold and shit for like ever, and then it starts to get warm again and it feels good. And in the fall, it's the opposite. Like it's like I'm you like, know it's ah, gonna it's get nice, worse, but it's gonna be shitty and like I, I can I can see that mentally. It's just for me, the pollen sucks. Yeah, you gotta live in the moment. 
I don't care about what's coming next. I care about what's happening now. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, I guess I don't really have allergies. Pollen's never been like a thing that really affects you me. You is lucky so AF. It, it just like, it'd be yellow. You guys kind of made your decisions based on like the temperature, but I, I'm thinking like how pretty it is during the season. Like spring is just pretty and then fall is pretty and then winter is okay. And then summer is just like, it's too hot for things to exist. So <laughs> it's, everything's dead regardless. But I'm not much of a nature boy, so oh, well. yeah. I don't really care based, about it. Windows exist. <laughs> yeah, mine was more so like based off my lifestyle. Like mm. I'm, like I fuck with winter. Like I'd recently started messing with winter. I don't know what that means. Just keep going. Uh, okay. It doesn't. Um, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I recently started like uh, like fucking with winter, like hard body, because like like I'm pretty much like a homebody, mm. and um, I mean I do like Same. going out and stuff. But um, I actually found myself going out more last winter than like any time before because, <clears throat> excuse me, because the one thing that's unique about winter compared to the other seasons is just the, <laughs> is just the lack of like sound. Like you go out, like, <laughs> did I start a chain reaction? Oh shit. <laughs> does this count? I don't think those count. Did those count? No, she's just she's just reminding us. No, but um, but like for me, it's just yeah, like those up. it's just like the change of sound. It's like the environment's completely different. Not just with like the snow and like dead shit and all that, but it's like like you go for a walk out in the winter and it's like completely silent. And it's like I really I really like the the silence of winter. It's it's soothing to me at least. I guess. I mean, for me, I walk outside. It's completely silent because it's too fucking cold to be outside. Or it's three a.m. So I actually, uh, whenever I would de- I would deliver food and and go on base, it was always during the winter. Whenever it would be silent, and I always, those were surreal moments. So I actually completely agree. Like when well, you're just walking around and it's just like, the dead air. Mm-hmm. Like I almost I almost like that. <laughs> what? What's funny? Dead, dead air. air. <laughs> dead air. Dead air. <laughs> I uh, I will say. Oh, damn, I was hoping everybody would just stop talking <laughs> for a second. Way to just ruin it. Just I will say that if I could asterisk my list, I would put like snow days above. I think. Well, uh, but in Virginia, we get like two. What, yeah, what, above but, what? Uh, above fall and winter. Mm-hmm. So it would be like summer, spring, asterisk snow days, fall, winter. Um, because you guys are talking about like the silence, and I think there's something like really fucking serene about when it's actually snowing and it's just dead silent because there's no ground for things to hit. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very rare because here at Virginia Beach, we literally get two, maybe three snow days a year. I don't, did we even yeah. have like a significant one this past winter? I don't think the so. Best we, had we, one. Was we had one. Yes. We had one. Yes, the best the that we had winter, was in, in, in Western state. Virginia. Uh, like 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 for me, because we were we we got to go in that hot tub while it was snowing. That was like such a glorious experience. Oh, that sounds. You, like you can't do that whenever. I'm not going in a hot tub in the summer. I'm gonna go in Why hot not? during hot. <laughs> yeah. Nah. For like therapeutic reasons, yeah, it's really nice to be in a hot tub, tub in, the in the summer. I don't know not, that I ever Maybe have. not an outdoor hot tub. Yeah. Well, yeah, but what? So a sauna? Or a, a bathtub? <laughs> I said what like you, indoor hot tubs exist. <laughs> yes, they do. There are pools Who the that hell have indoor hot tubs. Uh, I used to go to one with the YMCA. Yes, yep. so, in the, the sauna. Well, not all houses. of us. I, I don't know. how that luxury. I, I, I never did. It's a luxury. It's a YMCA. It costs like yeah. two bucks to go in. I, it costs two bucks if you're broke. I, I think yeah. They charge I'm, like they scale on income. I'm pretty sure. I'm talking about like your friend has a pool and a hot tub. They're both outside. They're both gonna be outside. So, a hot tub outside in the middle of the summer. I mean, maybe I'm missing out. I just I imagine like being in that hot tub, breathing that air. If you're looking to buy a hot tub for the inside of your house, that's pretty pricey for a blow up one. I'm pretty sure that you can get them at like 500 or so. Also, if you're looking for a career on Twitch and you're female, this is apparently the way to go. <laughs> they, that, those those streams are blowing up. Yeah, really. Yeah, it is oh, yeah. meta. The the, I, the hot tub streams are, are, yep. are huge. I'm not even gonna like get into that. <laughs> There's I'm also so Booba TV, which is basically all of those into one website for future research. If you if you're curious, wait, that's like an actual site. That is an actual site. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will not be attending that site. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good spot to. Uh, to all right, he had to get to ten. I like it. We got the ten. We got the ten. <laughs> Seems like a good spot to uh, to to call it. Uh, thank you guys. For I being love you. Here. Um, do you have uh, Do you have anything that you would like to plug? 
as I say to all of our uh, this all is of a our crew guests. episode. Are you no, okay? I, I know. I know. I, th- I think it's funny though. Do you guys have anything you want? I to would say? like to plug that I would. I just really want a parasocial relationship in my life. Parasocial, please. What does that mean? What is it? I have to explain parasocial. It's like so you have a streamer and you have a bunch of people that like constantly like watch the streamer, right? So they believe that they have a relationship with the tra- the streamer, but the streamer has no idea who you are. So you want to be the streamer? Oh, you yeah. want to be a simp? No, I, I want simps. Oh, okay. Yes. I got you. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just get famous. It'll be easy. Easy. Yo, honestly, just like start streaming to like Koreans. Could you imagine being somebody that like you post like a picture of yourself, like a selfie, and you get like 48 comments that are all just like, you're so cute. Oh, my God. Like, how weird would that feel? Yo, my girl. I post a picture and I get like two pictures or, 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 or two like emojis and somebody saying you're fat. <laughs> Yo, like, no bullshit. Like, my girlfriend, like, shows me, like, comments from, like, pictures and shit on Instagram. Like, some dudes be saying the wildest shit. <laughs> one dude was, like, one dude was, like, sorry if this is, like, rated R. But he was, like, yo, I'll eat your ass out of a spaghetti stain bowl. And I was, like, yo. <laughs> it's a new one. <laughs> She's like, like, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Very, very, like, like there's a lot of imagery That's so built specific. In. Yeah. So specific. And it's like all her DMs are that. It's so hilarious, dog. Uh, f- fun, uh, fun tip of, of how to get that out, apparently. According, according to TikTok, you take, a, you take a, uh, a paper towel, throw it throw it in the Tupperware that's like stained. We're talking for- about the spaghetti stain. Yeah, spaghetti okay. stain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to specify what I'm talking about. Uh, you, you, hey, no, no, don't play me out. What I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 you put it in the uh, in the Tupperware with soap and water, mm-hmm. uh, like hot water, and then and then you you, you shake it up, <laughs> and then, and then you shake it up a bunch, and it gets rid of the red stain. Oh, that's dope. I will have to experiment that uh, later tonight because I eat spaghetti all the time. Yeah, see, fuck you, Ethan. That, that's a good tip. You're welcome, viewers. Chris, do you have anything to plug? Le- le- leave um, it. Leave in the comments how much that helped you. Um, I'm just really excited for this camping trip we're gonna have. Soon. Yo. We, we're can't, gonna, we, we're gonna, can't, we can't talk about it. Yeah, we're going to do something really cool with it. But yeah, awesome. I'm excited as well. Uh, cool. With that, uh, let's go ahead and sound off. Thank Bye. you, guys. Thank you for pressing the button, Ethan. Bye-bye. Uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Yeah. Hey. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep. 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 Sorry, I was Yeah. Yeah. Keep it the book. Nice. That was dope as fuck. That was the busiest that screen's ever been. Is that screen's ever been? 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 Is that screen's ever been?